Howdy. I went on Twitter and Instagram and I said, y'all, what is the worst book you have ever read? What is your least favorite book? I want to know. And I wanted to know because I am mining the depths of my brain. And honestly, it's a shallow, shallow, shallow mine um, to make content. And I thought it would be fun to tier rank uh, the people who follow me, my mutuals, whatever, uh, their least favorite books, and try my best to have an opinion that is interesting and entertaining and worthy of your time. I want to quickly note from the future that I did not do every single book someone replied with. I did like the first 45, 50 ish came up by the time that I filmed this. So if you don't see yours, I just didn't see it. Maybe I'll do a part two at some point if y'all are at all interested, but here you go. Let's go over the categories. So in the very top, we have literally one of my favorite books. I made this category in case there is a book on here. There's a book on here. That is literally one of my favorite books. Obviously, I don't agree with you. Obviously, I don't agree with you in a really visceral and powerful way. Next, we have Disagree Most Ardently, meaning that this isn't one of my favorite books of all time, but I did enjoy it, I did like it, I had some fun with it, whatever, and I disagree with you. But there's not a lot of heat behind that disagreement, sort of a mild, like, hmm, I don't really agree with you, that kind of thing. Next, we have I Have Never Heard of This, so I can comment. I made this category because if I have never heard of a book and I don't even have any preconceptions about a book, I'm not going to comment upon it. This is more like, let everyone view this. Let's everyone see this book and see it, visual, view it. Next one is, seems bad. This is a book I have heard of and I think it seems bad. And then finally, agree, so, 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 so bad. So we're like on the same page on that level. Let's get into it. So the first book that is on here is Obsidian. I have read Obsidian. I read it in a book bind up when it was all the rage on booktube in like 2014. I read it on a car trip to Disney World. This is an alien romance book, I want to say hot aliens kind of coming out of the twilight world. I never read Twilight, so this was a pretty intense uh, journey for me on this car journey, and I just want to say to that agree. So, so bad. Did I enjoy it? No. Has the memory of me reading it stayed in my mind for years? Yes. I remember a lot about this book, and I wish I could internal sunshine that memory away. So we have like an H.G. Wells book. I don't know this book. I don't know what it's called. Side B, H.G. Wells moment. I don't enjoy sci-fi really at all. So even though I can't really comment on it because I've never heard of it, I do know of H.G. Wells. So I'm just gonna say seems bad because I don't think I would like it. Next we have a book called The Hero Font's Daughter. I say that I think this cover is really scary. And the cover alone, you know what, I'm not going to judge a book by its cover because I have read a lot of Nora Roberts in my day and those covers are hideous. So I'm just going to say I have never heard of this so I cannot comment, although I just did. Next we have The Road. Um, this book is so deeply not in my wheelhouse, it's not even funny. I have never read The Road, but I want to put it in agree so 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 bad. But that is unethical because I have never read it. So instead, I'm going to put seems bad, but like inching into agree because post-apocalyptic books written by white men that other white men tell me to read at bars when I tell them I like to read is a total like um, yikes moment for me. Next we have House of Leaves. I will never read House of Leaves. So I'm going to put seems bad. Too much work. Too much work. Feels like a podcast, like a really involved podcast, House of Leaves. And I can't even do like a mildly episodic podcast really at all, so not for me. Next we have The Scarlet Letter. 
Um, I'm gonna go agree so 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 bad. This was submitted by somebody I went to high school with and I'm pretty sure we read this book in class at the same time and I remember how much I disliked reading this and how strenuous this read was but it did give us Easy A which is a movie that I love primarily for Stanley Tucci. Next we have Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. This is a book that I half read I read most of it in college for a class and didn't quite finish it. I don't think this book is terrible. I think it's boring, but I do kind of like it. Does that make sense? Like I got something from what I read and I think I would have finished it if I wasn't in a deep depression at that time and also suffering from mono. But um, yeah, I'm gonna say disagree most ardently, but it's like a little quiet most ardently disagree most ardently. Next we have The Restaurant Critic, or The Restaurant Critic something. It's cutting off. Y'all know that I'm not that professional. The Restaurant Critic's insert. I have never heard of this book. Um, it has a fork and a spork and a knife. I'm going to assume it has something to do with a restaurant critic and a child, or someone who doesn't like to eat fancy food, which could be entertaining. Could be like a ratatouille moment. But I have never heard of this, so I cannot comment. Next we have Guns, Germs, and Steel. I have heard of this. I think this is like a dad book, like a big time. Your dad has a study, and he has this book on his shelf in his study. And for that, I will say, seems bad. Next we have The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. This is going to be a moment for me to open up. I read this book in 2013, 2014 when it came out, and I remember actually really liking it, but I think I only really liked it because it was the first like chunky, chunky adult book I ever read that wasn't for school, and I think I felt really proud of myself and fancied myself an intellectual, but I have watched a bit of the adaptation when it first came out on HBO, and it's quite bad, and I think 26 year old me as opposed to 20 year old me 19 year old me would have Would hate it would hate it. So I'm gonna say agree. So 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 bad next we have Lord of the Flies I managed to never read Lord of the Flies in school, but again, it's got that like apocalyptic post-apocalyptic Boy thing about it that does not interest me. So seems bad seems bad next we have a book called Pigtopia which looks really disturbing. Anytime I feel like you have a pig on the cover of a book, including Babe, including Babe, including Charlotte's Web, I'm going to be disturbed to my core. So I have never heard of this, so I cannot comment, but I just commented. The Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. I had to read James Joyce in college. I did not enjoy the experience. I'm not a James Joyce girl, but I've never read this. But I have read James Joyce. But it isn't super bad. So I can't really put in seems bad. I can't even go with agree. I'm just going to say I have never heard of this so I cannot comment because that feels like the most neutral. Okay, The Alchemist. I've never read The Alchemist. I will never read The Alchemist. I know some people who love it and some people who really hate it. Most people I know don't like it. And I trust most people that I know. Because I've accepted them into my life. Seems bad. An Agatha Christie book here, Passenger to Something Something. I have read Agatha Christie and I enjoy Agatha Christie. I enjoy Golden Age Mysteries. She has no Dorothy L. Sayers, but I do enjoy her. I have never heard of this, so I can't comment. I feel like she wrote so many books, there's gonna be some duds, there's gonna be some stinkers, and I feel like this could definitely be one, but I've never heard of it specifically. Next we have You. I hate the TV show in a way that upsets me, meaning that I find it very entertaining, but I hate it. I hate his face. He's an attractive man, but I hate his face. I hate the way the show makes me feel. I hate the way the show co-opted bookstores and made them evil. I hate it. I hate it. So agree. Seems bad. The Perks of Being a Wallflower. Ooh, this is a very controversial choice because for a lot of people this book is really important to them. But I don't know where the discourse has like landed with this book specifically or with the movie adaptation. But when I read it, I really loved it. I read it in high school. I remember reading it as 
a sophomore and telling myself I was going to reread it again as a senior. I didn't, but I remember this book really hitting home. So I'm going to go disagree, most certainly, but I could see there being issues with it in retrospect. Room. I've never read Room by Emma Donahue, but I saw the movie with Brie Larson. I love Brie Larson. I really thought the movie was quite interesting and depressing and really hard. And the person who wrote this explanation, I'm not going through all the explanations because um, I think that would take too long, but I will say this person talked about how uncomfortable this book made them feel and I would probably agree. I probably would not enjoy reading it and I found something in the movie and that even made me very uncomfortable. So I'm gonna say seems bad, but I mean bad as in like ooh, icky, like making me feel weird and uncomfortable. Okay, One Day by David Nichols. I have read one David Nichols book and that was Started for Ten for a video with Emma in 2020 and I hated it. She originally gave me one day to read, but when I remembered that one day ends with someone, the main, somebody, you get what I mean, I was like, absolutely not. I hate grand romances that end in tragedy. I really hate them in a way that's really intense. So I'm gonna go with seems bad. I'm gonna try to go faster. The Bronze Horseman, two of my very good friends picked this. I have heard nothing but bad things about this. I'm gonna go with seems bad. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I didn't even realize that J.K. Rowling did not write this play, um, but I am so uninterested when I heard what the plot of this was about, even when J.K. Rowling hadn't... I'm a bad person yet. I um, was just like, absolutely not. No, 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 no. Seems bad. Uh, the Giving Tree. One of my best friends from high school chose this, and I think it's really funny. I'm gonna go with... <laughs> Grace, this is so bad because this book made me so sad as a kid and I don't like feeling sad. Next is Throne of Glass. This is one of the first books that I had ever DNF'd. Um, truly, truly DNF'd. It was this in Cinder. So boring. I hated it so much. So agree. So, so, so bad. Next we have Gardens of the Moon. I have never heard of this, but it does not look like it would appeal to me. So I'm gonna say I've never heard of this. It's got like a castle on it. Not a big high fantasy reader. We have the 100 adaptation called 21 Days or some adaptation of the 100. That show is so squarely out of my interest. So I'm gonna say seems bad for that alone. Midnight Sun. I have never been and will never be a Twilight person. I miss that boat and by the point where I would have been interested in stepping on the boat, Stephanie Myers. I don't separate art from artists very well, so seems bad. This is like some colonial book that I think somebody had to read in school. Um, I've never heard of it, but it's probably terrible. Shatter me. I'm gonna be controversial. Disagree most certainly. It's dramatic in a way that I really enjoy. It's very CW. I, it's fun. It's just fun. Good love triangle. I'm having a good time really poetic writing. Anyway, Looker by Laura Sims. I have never heard of this. Got a fun little sans serif font for the cover, which means I probably wouldn't enjoy it. Find Me, which I think is a sequel to Call Me By Your Name. Not interested in that. Say seems bad. I need a minute for this next one. I'm back. The Magicians by Love Grossman. Maybe one day I'll talk about why this series is so important to me. But The Magicians is literally one of my favorite books of all time. And I met Love Grossman a few years ago when I was in high school, almost 10 years ago. He's genuinely an incredibly nice person and really went out of his way to talk to me and make this teenage girl who was like, you know, a out loud nerd fighter feel really listened to. And for that reason alone, it's, I have such a, a lovely feeling about this, this book in this series, but I also just really love this book, and I will talk about it at some point in the future, about why this is one of my favorite books of all time, but I'm sorry, I have to disagree with you, literally one of my favorite books of all time, but it is a controversial book. It's a book that is not for everybody. Next we have How I Live Now. This is the Sir Sharonin dystopian apocalyptic book that got turned into a movie with Sir Sharonin. Oh no, seems bad, I don't know. Apparently the movie was really bad, I think. So I, maybe the source material is bad too. Catherine House. Um, I read Catherine House. 
It's not my favorite book I've ever read, but I did enjoy it. So I'm going to go disagree most heartedly because I do think it's a good book and I do think it has merit. Next we have The Kill Order by James Dashner. I read The Maze Runner years and years ago in when I was in high school. James Dashner is a terrible person. I'm going to say it seems bad because I've never actually read it. Weathering Heights, absolutely terrible book. I hated it. Hated it when I read it in high school. Hated still. Trash, terrible trash. Hate it. This is a Garth Nix book. I can't see the whole title. I don't really know anything about Garth Nix, so I'm just going to go, I have never heard of this, so I cannot comment. We have here the test of the Doverville. We have here the test, test of the Dovervilles. I don't know. I'm an English degree, but not in a fancy way, I guess. Um, I did never read it, but it doesn't look like I would find it interesting. Seems bad. Okay, One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest goes into the same canon as The Road. Seems bad. Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot. The plays are not really something I really enjoy. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn seems terrible for every reason that you can possibly imagine that it seems terrible. This is where it ends. I think it's a book about mental illness, like a teen YA book about mental illness. Period in time when there were so many of those. I don't know if they were always like handling the subject matter that well. I'm gonna say seems bad, but I could be wrong. Black Leopard, Red Wolf. I haven't heard of this really. I mean, I've seen the cover, but I don't know anything about it. So I'm just gonna say I've never heard of this, so I cannot comment. For the Heart of Darkness. Absolutely not. Seems really bad. Not interested. And a few people chose that Maximum Ride book called Nevermore. And when the person put this on Twitter, I was like, are you talking about my beloved Nevermore? And I was going to be shocked and odd. And then they're like, no, it's a Maximum Ride book. Um, I've never heard of it, but it does seem pretty terrible. Anyway, that is my tier ranking. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I talked a mile a minute, but I was running out of time and I wanted the video to be done. So what are your thoughts? What do you think? Are there books that you love on this list that you disagree with? Or what is your least favorite book? I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day.